Shotgun Boy is about a boy who finds a shotgun. Congratulations, we're done. It's about a bullied boy who ends up finding a shotgun and now wants to become something all American kids aspire to be. A school sh this boy's class ends up going on a retreat which they find relatively abandoned escape from society just the perfect conditions for monsters to show up and kill them all. It's a supernatural suspenseful action type series and it kind of gets the job done. One of the annoying things about the series is actually the more meta of it. The author. Yeah, that's right, this guy. Who keeps telling me how this is a story of fiction and if I do have suicidal thoughts, I should seek help. I think I'd know if I was crazy or not. Now shut up, Grandma, you've been dead for five years already. Anyway, this series is kind of twofold. It is both a monster survival series and like a coming of age, finding your courage kind of story. Now, in all fairness, it is technically wrong for me to review this series because I haven't finished it yet. After doing some extreme investigative journalism, I was told that the epilogue chapter of Shotgun Boy spoils Sweet Home, so I have to read that series before reading this epilogue. So this review is the full series outside of the last epilogue chapter. Now I will say I actually did enjoy Shotgun Boy and the main character was actually enjoyable. I liked the fact that he was kind of crazy and not really, you know, uh, goody two shoes kind of thing. He was completely insane at, at some levels. And you see his growth, his sanity kind of comes back despite seeing all this insane stuff happening around him. This contradiction that actually helps the series. Funny thing though, not necessarily the action, the violence, the edginess sucks. Partially because of the censorship, but you know, it just, it felt kind of gross rather than actually entertaining. The tension was good. There were some tense atmospheric moments, The craziness was part of the appeal. But I did think it was kind of mundane. I also really didn't like the ending. But I feel like it's a bit unfair to criticize it because there is a sequel you're supposed to read. I don't know how related it is to the sequel. But, you know, uh, looking at it purely as a perspective of a separate series, the ending kind of sucks. It Well, it's, it ends on a cliffhanger, but it's still, but the cliffhanger sucks. Would I recommend this series? Kind, maybe. I enjoyed some of the characters, the tension was good, and it, it, it got pretty intense at times. But the series is just slightly above average. I just enjoyed it enough for me to not regret it, which is a good thing. In which case, I would give this series a 6 out of 10.